Luxembourg. Known for its castles, rich culture, and economic prosperity, I decided to make this my birthday trip. But with delayed flights, lost luggage, and missed tours, dead animals literally falling from the skies, and navigating the public transport on my own, would I be able to salvage this trip when things started out very, very wrong? just arrived at Hotel Frances. We've got the Christmas market outside jamming. KLM lost my luggage again. <laughs> and I am absolutely shattered. I spent two hours trying to figure out how to actually get a hold of them because my confirmation number wouldn't work and blah, blah, blah. All these things that happen when you're traveling, but I am going to dump my stuff go out and maybe grab something at the Christmas market here. And then tomorrow is an early morning to a bunch of castles. So stay tuned. Good morning from Luxembourg. I am here in the capital city. For those of you who don't know, Luxembourg is actually a country. It's kind of situated before, between Germany and France. It's a little cold this morning, so I'm having trouble speaking. I'm here at Christmas time and just headed over here to pick up a hop on hop off bus to go and see all of the castles that Luxembourg is known for and the well preserved fortifications you can kind of see here in the background. It is, uh, this city is a UNESCO heritage site. Gonna speed on over there and see you guys on the bus. I put in the address of, I don't even know what it is, I'll put it right here, into Apple Maps. It sent me in the right direction, but when I was there, it was like on the middle of this residential street, there was a lot of construction, so I tried to give the sightseeing place a call. Nobody answered. I called them twice um, to see if I was in the right place. I arrived 15 minutes early, and then when it got to 925, I didn't see anything. Walked up and down the street, didn't know what kind of bus I was looking for, didn't know what the sign looked like. I was really like, okay, where is this thing? Like, I'm gonna miss the bus. So I plug it, I go back to the ticket, plug in this address, and it sends me over to the middle of another area of the Christmas markets that are here in Luxembourg. Try to use Google Translate to talk to somebody to see where to go and it just wasn't working. We tried Italian, German, and it just wasn't working. So finally was able to find a really nice security guy who directed me to the tourism office and we were able to call and they said, oh, the bus was there, but this is the bus you were looking for, which looks nothing like their picture. Um, so I missed the tour. And between having my luggage lost and then missing this tour that I was so excited to go on, like, and it's my birthday next week, like, it just hasn't been a very good day. So this is the real part of travel. It's not always glamorous and sometimes things happen that are out of your control, but, um, I'm gonna try and make the best. I am gonna go over there today and talk to them and then try to take the train 
out to Viandon Castle. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna freshen up and because I was sweating from running all over the city this morning. Go out and the Christmas market's already open and then there was like a, a farmer's market type thing that opened up at this place. I'll, I'll put the screenshot. It's over by the Notre Dame um, route in the Notre Dame Road. Uh, but that, that looked really great. That's where a lot of locals were hanging out. So might go back over there and then head over to the meeting place for the van. And the tourism office told me what kind of van to look for, which was great. Hopefully I make it out to the castle okay. And the train out to the castle is free. It takes out about an hour and 20 minutes, but I will miss Mullerthal as well as the hike, uh, which I was really looking forward to. But it is what it is and I was able to call the luggage place today and they put a rush on the luggage and my Apple AirTag showed it's at Luxembourg Airport. So I'm hoping that I am kind of like getting all of the bad luck out this morning. I'm tired already. I'm gonna save this day, I'm determined. I don't want this, I don't want this to be the start of my birthday. I'm really hoping that I can salvage, you know, the trip and I've got quite a bit of time left and it's not all bad, like, and this stuff happens, but it just kind of makes you sad and lonely, I guess, but yeah. I'm gonna have a good cry and then I'm gonna go out and have a good time. <laughs> Came back to the hotel, got freshened up, had a good cry, and I am back out at the Christmas market, determined to save the day. It's gonna wander around here a little bit. You do need cash for anything in the Christmas market. So I did find an ATM down the street, a little ways away from the Palace to Armas, because they usually have a better exchange rate. And yeah, just gonna go around and see what they've got. <laughs> Wonders of life got the pretty inside for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree, glimmering light, I am right where I want to be. I will be home for a couple of days. This bird just dropped dead right behind me. With everything else that's gone on, I'm like really creeped out that bird just like dropped dead behind me. Like, is there like bad luck following me? I don't know, but this is like such a weird day. With the dead bird nearly dropping on my head, I can't tell you how creeped out I was and very afraid to go anywhere in the city after this, especially with all the bad luck I was having. So I popped into the church to say a few Hail Marys, even though I'm not Catholic, and then headed over to the train station to hopefully start the good luck swing. Okay, despite the dead bird missing the tour and my luggage being lost, <laughs> I am going to catch the train out to Viandon Castle. It's about an hour and 20 minutes. Um, the sightseeing place was really nice. They gave me a refund. They looked at the ticket. They're going to try and do something with the ticket um, to make it a little bit better for those trying to find the place. Um, and I told them kind of where I think things may have gone wrong and being able to understand where to go. So still pretty bummed I missed it, but I was very grateful that they said that they'll give me a refund. So thank you guys. Luxembourg is divided into an upper city and a lower city. If you go into the lower city, just know that you won't have to hike back up. They do have this funicular that is also free that takes you up and down to the city and the train station. So we're at Plafenthal and on the departing side and the, there's an information um, I'll show you in just a second but you want to take the train the ick train the IC train to Ethelboro and then you get off there and take a bus to Vianden. 
I just realized it's not the departing side or the arrival side, it's actually platform one and two. So Edelbrook is, today is from, Ethelbrook? Edelbrook. Anyway, that's from platform one. So I'm just taking the escalator over to the other side. I am really impressed with the public transport here. It's great. And I just got a call from the airport. They aren't delivering my luggage today, but I can go pick it up today. So it'll be just in time for heading out to Strasbourg tomorrow, um, which I'll have to check out the videos on Strasbourg Christmas Market and Luxembourg Christmas Market in another video. Um, I think I just went to the wrong place. <laughs> Good grief. Really? Oh, there's a platform to, oh. Oh boy. Good thing I got here like 30 minutes early because I keep going to the wrong place. I know y'all think I'm probably an idiot, but I really am so bad with directions and get lost in a city so easy. So I was very grateful I made it onto the correct train and watched myself on Google Maps as the train moved away from the station and knew that I was headed in the right direction. Finally. Okay, I just right, arrived in Edelbrook. This is the train station right behind me. And then the buses are literally just right across the street here. So I'm boarding the 181 bus to Oshburg something. Well, I decided to walk through the town. It was really cute. Looks like Victor Hugo has some kind of ties to this place. And I'm going on a hike. <laughs> anyway, I, I guess this is the back route. I like to think this is how they used to come up here. But looks like there's actually a funicular that takes you all the way up to the castle. Oh. Getting it in, getting it done. My trainer would be proud. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm so glad I took this route anyway. The foliage is so pretty. And then you get views of the town. And then this waterfall in the river right there. Absolutely spectacular. Almost there, folks. There she is. Wow. So Viandon Castle actually dates back to the fourth century when they uncovered um, one of the last castle foundations dating back to the fourth century. And it was built along a Roman road and then over the years has changed hands and uh, a lot of it was redone in the 13th century to where you can see the stone fortifications, but it has a cathedral inside and a lot of history. And that is why I really wanted to see this place today. I made every effort to get here. So just gotta hurry in before they close out the last of the people that they allow in before the castle closes. medieval stuff. All these weapons and different suits of armor depending on the year or the century rather. Look at this guy. Okay, wrong country, but look at how 
badass that looks with chainmail over his face. <laughs> Change is inevitable. Just like the castle has changed over the centuries, we have to allow ourselves the room to grow, and pain and challenges will always be our greatest teachers. The trick is to continue with hope. Allow yourself to be human and continue to believe that no matter what, the changes within you are building you to be the greatest version of yourself. Medieval kitchens. I think the reason I love medieval times, Renaissance times so much is because everything took so much effort and it wasn't automated. You had to work for everything from your clothing all the way down to the food that you ate every single day and it was never ending. The unique ways and innovations that they used without modern day technology always astounds me. Kitchens, doctors, healers, or if you got on the wrong side of somebody, you might even be accused of being a witch. So as a woman in medicine, kitchens and medicinal uses and doctors and pharmacies in these eras always fascinate me. So this town right below the castle, there's a lot of cute um, cafes and hotels and places to see that I didn't even know existed here. So if you come to Castle Viandon, make sure to allow yourself some time to explore this cute little town. to the bus station, kind of board the bus, go to the airport, get my luggage, go back to the hotel. Very tired and I'm actually just got very hungry so I'm very glad that I have a pear and an apple in my bag and some water. Definitely gonna need some water. It's really weird here because you freeze, like your skin freezes, but then like because you're moving, your body just sweats, especially with a coat on. I don't know, it's bizarre. Anyway. Luggage has arrived. Moral of the story, even though things go to shit and birds fall dead from the air, you can still have a good time. <laughs> I went out to dinner, I had a great dinner um, after I dropped my luggage off and the waiter was so nice. I told him it was my birthday. I was out here celebrating my birthday. He asked when it was, I told him. He's like, well, come back on that day and we'll party. And then he started to dance in the middle of the restaurant. It was so cute. And then I went and got some chocolate covered strawberries from the Christmas market. It was the first treat I had because I'm waiting for my friend Kat, who I, um, you met in Puerto Rico if you've been following the channel for a while. So if you haven't seen my Puerto Rico video of old San Juan, make sure to go see that because that's the video she's in and we'll see her in Strasbourg for that Christmas market. Make sure to go check those other videos out on the Christmas markets here. I hope you enjoyed this one on how to visit Vianden Castle and have a stiff upper lip when things go to shit. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.